some hello and welcome back we are back today in Stormwind to see if we can't figure out what the love day holiday is actually all about now I've been trying to find all sorts of love quests in World of Warcraft and honestly they're few and far between so I figured why not go back to the basics and see what the heck our holiday is actually all about. So, in order to do that, we're going to have to find a nice human commoner, or at least, uh, well, usually you get a human commoner that will direct you right over here to the lovely merchants, the public relations agent, and Quee Q Petal Feet who are all here to help us with our love day leveling and dailies and all of those other exciting things. Now you can pick hey, up the dailies. You As you can see, he says, I can see that you've got an eye for opportunity. What do you say we make some coin together? The crown needs to push samples of our latest holiday themed products for every potential customer in the city. Help us share the love, and we'll share some of that amazing crown merchandise with you. Your time, our money, my friend. Got a deal? And for that, you just Thank have God. to toss 10 samples to people around the city. Thankfully, you can also toss them at a lot of NPCs, if not all of them. But the more interesting story is right here with Inspector Snip Snagglebolt. Let's see what he has to say. Yo. He says, get a load of these guys, would ya? Steamweedle's been handling the business of holidays for years, and all of a sudden these guys burst into the market. They're not Steamweedle. The cartel hired me to get to the bottom of this. Something stinks here, and it ain't just perfume. Take this device that I brought and go analyze the perfume clouds around the guards. I want to know what they're putting in this stuff things ain't natural so all right there's something afoot in stormwind well hopefully we can toss some chocolates to a few people there you go would you like to try some chocolate it's delicious but more importantly let's use our perfume analyzer well let's give her some chocolate first well meant and then we'll analyze that cloud of perfume see what's up Hopefully we'll figure out this mystery. All right, well, we have been wandering around the city and we just have a little bit left to go. Let's give her our last chocolate and see if we can't analyze the last perfumed guard. All right, let's turn these in and see what is up. First, I guess we'll just turn in the chocolates. I mean, Time is why running, not? Friend. He says, lovely work. People will be tripping over one another to get crown chocolates now that they've had a chance to taste those sweet romantic treats. Here's a little something for helping us out. Very nice. And you can actually get yeah. rewards. You, um, you can get some basic ones. You can get roses and things, bags of candy hearts. But you can also go all the way up to getting toys, like the romantic picnic basket that lets you set out a picnic basket. You can get the lovebird hatchling and the quee petal feet pets. And you can get the swift lovebird mount. And if you're tired of all of those, well, you can also just spend it on buying yourself some heirlooms. But with all of that, let's do this next one here. Hello, hey, Inspector Snip. He says, hey, thanks, kid. Give it over. Let's take a look. He takes the perfume device and fiddles with it. Oh, that ain't good. Hey, Sounds real. like something's going on. I knew that they were up to no good. There's some sort of mind-affecting chemical in here, but I can't get a handle on it with such a small sample. I need the real stuff. Don't just go over there and buy it. I don't want you to give these scumbags even one copper. Nah, you gotta get it from the source. All discreet-like. I'll disguise you as a package runner. I saw a stockpile guarded by their goons just outside the gates. 
Go on, run by, and don't stop or they'll make you. They'll toss you a crate. Bring it back here. All right, get yourself aimed before you accept this quest because once you accept it, you are off. And off we go and I'm already stuck. Good job, me. This is one of those all you can do is guide yourself. You can't actually do much um, speed or anything. And this is a timed quest, so try not to get stuck too often. But here we go. We are running. Run, 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 run. We are also a little doofy looking. We look just like a goblin. Which looks a little suspicious here in Stormwind, but you know, we just won't talk about it. Alright, you turn left and run, 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 run. Right over here. Get yourself a box. Hopefully they will throw one to us eventually. There we go, we got the box. Sometimes you have to do a couple of loop-de-loops. Don't worry about it. Sometimes things are slow. And now we just have to run back. We have 58, 56. Oh my gosh, can we make it? That is the good question. I would be so embarrassed if I failed this quest. It would be the first time I had failed it in years. <laughs> All right, we are running, we are running, we are running. We're gonna make it with any luck. We're gonna take the shortcut right out through here. We have 30 seconds. I think we can do it jump jump and we made it good job us thank you inspector that was Time exciting money, you got it eh good job kid top notch let's see what we got here he cracks open the cake crate and rummages inside Keep it real. he says kid this is about more than just perfume there were some rockets in that crate and they had some kind of chemical payload inside I can't am analyze it here, but I'll spare you a trip to the lab. Nah, you gotta find the guy that made these. I know the maker's mark. It's Snivel Rust Rocket. I got a tip from a reliable source that Snivel is here in Stormwind, living it up at the Gilded Rose. What's more, he had some dame on his arm. Marion Sutton was her name. Go to the Gilded Rose and see what she knows. All right, Be good. now we're playing detective. Well, here we are at the Gilded Rose. And upstairs, in this corner room, we have Marion Sutton. Another lovely young lady who uh, looks to be waiting for someone. You need something? She says, you, you're not Snivel. Did he send you? He's so late, I had started to give up hope. Tears begin well welling in the woman's eyes once she realized that you aren't there to deliver a message from Snivel. <sighs> That's not like my Snivel, but what other choice is there? Uh, well, evidently not you. much. I better start from the beginning. It was love at first sight. There was just something about that goblin from the moment I set eyes on him. After a wonderful week together, Snivel said he had come into a lot of money and that he was going to take me on a long vacation to the South Seas. Can you believe it? Anyway, he told me to pack while he ran some errands to the bank, the auction house, and the barber shop, but he never came back. I'm beginning to think he's nothing but a big liar. <laughs> All right, well, we have to help the damsel in distress. It's, it's love day. And it sounds like her love experience is not going well. So, hot on the trail. Let's go to the bank and see what we can find out there. Into the bank we go. I don't see any goblins. We'll just keep on looking. Oh, there he is. It's Snivel. I see him. What are you staring at? Haven't you ever seen a genius before? Uh, this'll teach you to mind your own business. Ow! He shot me. That was so rude. Alright, well, let's see if we can catch him. 
He left the bank, headed over to the auction house, probably looking to offload some fenced goods. Let's find out. Where's he at? There he is. That's right. I'd like to list some of these fireworks. These'll net me a nice profit when I return from the South Seas. You! Don't think I don't see you. Leave me alone. Now we're just dazed and confused. Well then, he also said he was going to the barber shop. Let's see if we can catch up with him there. Off we go. Passing Topper McNabb here in a moment, who will probably ask if we have any coppers to spare for a sandwich that he will pay us back for on Tuesday. Alright. Don't mind us, Genevieve. We are just going to... There he is. Thanks for the great cut and shave, buddy. Here's a little something extra, since I'll be away. On second thought, keep the whole bag. I have to, uh, get going. Did you think you could corner me this easily? Oh, he's a rogue. Well then. All right, well, we'll, we'll go tell our poor damsel in distress that we saw him but I'm not sure he's coming back for her. So this sounds like it is love being dashed. Tragic. All right, well, at least we found him. You know, at least she'll know. Hello, Marion. Hey there. All he talked about was leaving town with all of his money. Then he really has abandoned me, hasn't he? Oh, Gancer. I was such a fool to fall for him, but how could I help myself? He was so irresistible. Mm, you and I have very different tastes. Marion listens with horror as you tell her why you were trying to track down Snivel. You mean he might have used some sort of chemical on me? Ew. I can't believe I fell for that fraud. If he's finished all of his errands, well, then he's on his way down to the docks to catch a ship to the South Seas. Whatever you do, you can't let him get away with this. Hurry, down to the Stormwind Harbor before you miss him. All right, well, Have a good one. let's go track him down. Now it's become a tale of revenge. All right, we are almost there, riding our noble steed down to the docks. Our noble seed probably could use a saddle and bridle, but then again, do you really want to put a saddle and bridle on a unicorn? I sure don't. All right, Snivel. Now it is revenge for the lady's honor. We will totally get you. And there he is. I see him. All right, Snivel. The jig is up. Talk to me. Hey, pal. I don't know who you are or why you've been following me around, but I'm about to board a ship and I want to be left alone. Got it? Well, unfortunately, I have a rocket here with your mark on it, Snivel. He looks at the rocket and he flashes a nervous smile. Okay, yeah. So maybe I made a couple rockets for some guys. So what? The gold was good, and I was paid for my work. It's not like anybody died. That's about as honest as work gets. What's it to you? Well, there's a chemical inside the rocket. What about that? Look, I don't know, okay? I don't know. I just got paid to make rockets that deliver an airborne chemical payload, and that's what I did. Job's done, pal. They're all packaged and sent off. I got the money, and I was trying to enjoy myself a little when you started chasing me all over town. I don't have any more of that chemical, and I don't know what it was. Well, where were they delivered, Snivel? You expect me to remember that? Off the top of my head, look. They didn't pay me enough to put up with this, and the contract only asked for my silence, so I'm just gonna drop my ledger on the floor here, and you're gonna take it and leave me alone. Got it? All right, well, we have his ledger. Let's head back and see what we should do now. All right, we are 
back over here. We can turn in this quest and see if there's anything else that he needs. Yo. Did you find the guy? Or did he crawl under a rock? No, we found him. Have a good one. You got his ledger. Really? That's great. There's probably loads of good information in here. Keep it real. And then... The, the final quest that you can do, which I am not going to go through, is crushing the crown. You can queue up for the crown chemical battle and do a big old battle for the chance, which has been improved here recently, of getting the big love rocket. Be good. Now, there are a couple other interesting little quests that you can do. You can go through and make lovely charm bracelets for the leaders of the major factions. You can uh, daily try for that love rocket. There's a few other rewards too. But that is your basic story. And at its heart, it is the story of a woman scorned. Tricked into love. Left high and dry. And that is the story behind the um, Love Day events of World of Warcraft. Now, there is a few other things you can do. You can do the PvP things. There are so many achievements that are tied to Love Day. And if you manage to get them all done, you can get the title of Love Fool, which is a really cool title that I will never own because I am terrible at PvP. But I hope that you enjoyed the story of Love Day. And uh, leave me a thumbs up if you don't mind. I always appreciate it. And I will see you next time. He's like, ta-ta.